Ah, time to check my order status. Okay. Let's track. Package delivered by post office. Sweet, let's go check the beautiful outdoors, except it's really, really hot right now. It's almost summer. I'm not gonna show my address. There it is! Wow! All good to go. And there's some other packages, but they're not for me. Okay, so you might be wondering why I'm filming over here. Well, it's because I think it's a better lighting. And um, these are some cubes I'd like to display. So, let's get into it. Again, no scissors. Okay, so sorry you couldn't really see that. Moved it up a little bit too far. But basically, yes, we I have ordered the entire Yushimbo Magic line that's come out so far. It's a pretty new line of cubes, so I wouldn't be surprised if they released like a 2x2 two two or a skew or something. Not that I'm saying that it would be good, but I also have some Chi Lube over here just to try out. Because it's only a buck, and I had two extra bucks. So... First, let's start with the 3x3. Um, three three. I don't know why the Megaminx and Pyraminx boxes are beaten up quite a bit, but I got a new 3x3. Three three. I already had one, but my other one sucked because it, I got a bad batch, but this is really loose right now. So I'll actually get to, right now, I'll actually get to feel what an actual use in Little Magic feels like. I got it in sticker list just to make sure I wouldn't screw up again. So let's feel. Holy crap, this thing is fast. Sorry for my language. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than mine. Okay, so it's obviously really loose right now, but... It's got pretty good corner cutting. It's not like on par. Exactly. Well... If for this price, this cube is honestly amazing, I'm going to have to break it in. It's definitely going to be a main. I'm definitely going to have to tighten it. This thing is so fluent. For only four bucks. And I think I got it, this one or another one, on sale. Gosh, this is honestly amazing. So much better than my old one. My old one had some defective corners, so. Okay, so already amazing with the 3x3. These are some weird selections to make. So I only got the V1 because uh, the way I set it up was I was going to get the V1 and then maybe later on get the V2. Okay, it's a good thing that the cube is not damaged even- oh, well, these pieces are starting to come off, but um, the cube isn't too damaged. Um, this is a weird sculpted because it's not around the whole entire piece, but it fits nice in my hands, so I don't know if I should get, if I should get the V2. A little looby on some pieces. That thing is really dry. But pretty fast, yeah. It's fast like the uh, 3x3, but like on a Megaminx, so it's obviously not gonna be that fast. 
yeah, the sculpted part is definitely a little weird. But the shades are also a little off, I think. I don't know. For some reason, it just feels very weird. Because, oh, I know why the colors look weird to me. It's because they don't have the sculpted on the outer as well. So, And this green's a little bit brighter. I can definitely tell. It feels a little tight. But, yeah, it's definitely a little tight. So I could loosen that. I'm definitely going to have to break this in. It seems like it could be really nice if I, if you were to just get used to the uh, sculpted part. But I do kind of like how it's sculpted because it brings out the colors more. Like this orange and this yellow and this purple look a lot more vibrant because they don't have like the sculpted parts and so it's the blue and pink. Basically all the really vibrant colors. Yeah, this feels like it could be good with some setting up. So, that's the Mega Minx. With its bad box. I forgot to take out these pamphlets. But, anyway, I can't get this out, but okay. Just regular pamphlets. Now for the pyraminx, which is pretty beat up as well. Okay, so these shades look pretty standard. It's not, I don't think it's magnetic. No, it's not magnetic. I would have known if it was magnetic. It feels magnetic. That's, that's ball bearings. Uh, it feels like when I move this, a lot of loops going to come out. I really like these vi vibrant uh, red and yellow and green. The blue is blue, so. That's a very smooth. It's almost a little slippery, but it's very smooth. These tips are really stiff. The, yeah, these tips are really stiff. But a very smooth pyraminx. I think uh, this is really good for its price. And actually, these shades kind of match, except this is frosted, so obviously it's a little bit duller, but a little duller. Yeah, Yushin Shades. So, I definitely think this is a weird selection to go with Pyraminx, Megaminx, and 3x3. I think it would be nice to see like a Yushin Little Magic 2x2 or 4x4. Um, but, it'd be really nice to see if they can continue this line of really cheap uh, quality Tubes. Oh, this is really tight. That's got pink internals. That's so weird. Or no, it doesn't. All these colors are all. Okay, all the corner stocks are different colors. Not even matching with any of their pieces. That's weird. Okay, so. Basically, the Mega Minx is really nice with some setting up. Um. 3x3 three three is really nice with, with some tensioning. And the Pure Minx is really smooth, just a little slow, and these tips are just bad. So, this Mega Minx might become a main. I'm not sure. was out of shot. I'm terribly sorry. I'm bad at YouTube. Anyway, I think this Megaminx could have main potential. 
um, with some setting up. This 3x3 is definitely going to be a main after setting up. And this Pyramix is not going to be a main, but it's really nice to have. And on to these. Um, so I thought I... These are actually pretty big for the size. Oh, the boxes are a little slippery. Oh no. Uh, I hope none of it spilt. What about the bag? Uh, yeah, these boxes are definitely very slippery with like loot or something. So I'm not really sure how this lubricant. That's quite a bit of lube actually. I don't know if it's meant to like smooth in. I should say. Uh, three drops per. What? Two to three drops per time. Drop the lube from gap into the cube. Main components. Uh. Simthicone. No idea what that is. This is so weird. Anyway. Um. I like these boxes that they come in. It's just kind of hard to get out. So I get them out of. So, um, oh gosh. That's spilly. Okay, so I'm going to test these lubricants out in, I'm going to say, a 3x3. Three cube um just for a little bit of a variety and probably my mega minx that not this mega minx but um yeah i'll break this in i'll break all these in and come back to you but it's really nice to have the whole entire little magic set that's uh, really great for the collection also um about these like ordering all these sets or not ordering all of them but I'm gonna start ordering sets of cubes so like the, the Yushimo Magic ser or series of cubes Yushimo Magic series uh, the Shang Shao Aurora the Shang Shao Pearl series the Chi Chi line uh, and the Sh uh, the new Shang Shao Tank series is going to uh, be next, and that's probably I'm probably going to get that in a week or two. So that'll be coming up. But this is the Yushimo Magic series. A uh, great line of puzzles for beginners, and even for intermediate possibly. So. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Just kidding. I'm going to come back to you guys anyway, so with a couple of solves, probably. So this is the Kung Fu long one, and I'm going to see what this lubricant does to it. It says two to, two to three drops. I think I'm just going to go with uh, two. And it says, drop the lube from the gap into the cube. I'm guessing the gap is like this or something. I don't know. But let's try this. really hard to get a drop out. Alright, so that's one. These drops are kind of tiny, so I guess I'll do three. It's 
two, and I'll go three here. So this cube in general does not really like lube, but let's just break it in. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it drops the uh, the noise level down a little bit. It makes it a lot smoother, and I don't know how long it's supposed to last, but I think it kind of slows it down a little bit. But now we can try it on this Shangxiao skew. Might already be lubricated, but I think we're okay. So this cube is already really, really fast and uncontrollable. So uh, maybe that this will change that. Let's see. For a skew, I'm just gonna put in two drops. Because I don't want to overlube a skew. That's horrible. Never overlube a skew. Come out, stupid thing. Oh gosh, I got the drop on the cube. Okay, so that's one. Um, finally clean this off. Okay, so that's one, and let's do two, kind of the opposite of that. I don't know, oh, are you supposed to push it from down here? No. I don't know why this lube is so hard to get out sometimes, and then sometimes it's really easy. Definitely made the cube, uh, quiet. Uh, not quiet, but probably a little bit quieter, but. Um, definitely makes it a little bit more controllable. Of course, I suck at skew, so. You can't really do a solve on this, but. I might consider putting this lubricant in my uh, my low magic, but I'm not sure. That's a lot smoother and con more controllable, so I think it's just meant to like kind of slow it down, kind of make it more controllable, almost like silicone. But this is overall. A very weird loop. Very weird. Okay. So that's the lubricant. Let's get on with the actual uh, cube solves. My lube box is filling up. Yay. Yo, I just got an eight with an X cross and then half and a half with this cube. I also got a PB average of like 12 something, but now it's probably even better. Yep, PB average 11.74. First ever sub 12. Yo, this is amazing. And I'm under to a PB average of 12. That's awesome. I'm gonna show you some more shelves. This cube is crazy fast and fluent.
1201. Even better average, 11.64. My god. are going to be awful. Oh, 410. That's pretty easy. Six point one. Wait. Yeah, these tips are a little weird to grip on, but, you know, it's okay. Okay, just making sure I was going to it. Okay, now for Mega Minx salt. Which are gonna take a while because I'm a bad night mixer. I haven't done anything to this shot, so.
This needs to be loosened. Oh my gosh, it is so much better. If I were to recommend one thing to the cubicle, or no, Yushin about this cube is to loosen it for stock tensions. Honestly, it, it's pretty tight for anybody. I had to loosen it three turns. Okay, so I missed scramble. So I had to reverse it. Okay. 